Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how to treat the data that we collect from a Likert scale. So statistically, what do we do with that data? Um, so first off, quickly, a Likert scale uh, is an instrument where we ask questions with a multiple choice response that looks like this, where there's a neutral response, and then ideally there's an equal number of positive and negative responses surrounding that neutral. Um, so it's usually either five or seven options, and it can range from something like strongly agree to strongly disagree, or it could be strongly like to strongly dislike, that sort of thing. So that is a Likert scale. Um, so technically speaking, we would, we would treat each individual Likert item as ordinal. Uh, so ordinal means that it's telling about the relative position, but not the distance between the positions of the choices. So an example of ordinal would be like poor, good, and excellent. Um, so those are responses that we can put in order. So poor, of course, is the worst, excellent is the best, and good is in between. So we can put them in order that makes it ordinal. Um, but we couldn't say that the distance between poor and good is exactly the same as the distance from good to excellent. Uh, that's what we mean by not knowing about the distance between positions, is the difference between poor and good could be different for one person than it is for another, or within an individual, the difference between poor and good could be different from the dif distance between good and excellent. Um, so that's why, technically speaking, Likert scale items would be treated as ordinal. An interval scale would be the same, so we could put the options in order, except in that case, there's a constant distance between the options. Um, so an example of an interval scale would be like first grade, second grade, third grade. So in that case, it's just like ordinal in the sense that we can easily put these groups in order. Um, but the difference is that with an interval scale, there's a defined amount of space between each option. So there's a year between first grade and second grade and a year between second grade and third grade. So that makes it interval. Um, so the reason I bring that up here is because although technically speaking, Likert items are on an ordinal scale, um, they are sometimes in practice treated as interval. Um, and that would be a choice that the researcher makes if they feel they can make the assumption that the distance between the options within the Likert questions are constant. So I would argue that we can't really make that assumption um, because we can't know um, if those options are equal in distance from one another and if that's consistent between individuals. But in practice, it is um, like our items are treated as interval scale um, variables on occasion. Um, also, we can treat the whole Likert scale, so I don't mean the individual items, but if we add up the result of all the items for the entire scale, um, then that um, data point could be treated as a continuous variable. So a continuous variable has a theoretically infinite number of points within a range. So for a Likert scale, if we're talking about the total after we add up all of the items, um, the possible number of points will depend on how many items there are and how many options there are, were within each item, but we would add that all up, and that's the total number of possible points. Um, so theoretically, the person could earn from whatever is the lowest number. You know, if there are 20 items, then 20 might be the lowest score if each item earns one. Um, and then it could be as high as maybe 100. If there are 20 items and five options each, then the highest score would be 100. Um, so that total score could be treated as a continuous variable um, because that total score could have a decimal point and it, it could technically be continuous. Uh, but again, if we treat the total as a continuous variable, we're still making the assumption that the distance between options is equal, that there is a constant predictable distance um, between um you know, agree and slightly agree, or between agree and slightly disagree, we are making the assumption that those differences are equal, and we can't know that. 
Um, so we can treat Likert scales as interval or continuous variables, but technically speaking, they are on an ordinal scale. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.